Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, we'll be talking about succulents and their roots. Now, you do not need to pull out your succulent every now and then to check if the succulent is doing well or no because the succulent itself will let you know how it's doing. Especially if there are any problems with the roots, the succulent will let you know by wrinkling up by getting into the survival mode as we have spoken about this earlier so that doesn't mean that you need to pull out your succulent roots to check if the roots are healthy or no in this video i will be showing you different type of roots this is just an example you do not need to pull out your succulents every now and then to check the roots because if you're going to do so the roots are going to get damaged the roots will get harmed and they will not be able to grow properly if you are going to take them out from the soil every now and then so in short, whenever you tend to look at the succulent, you will be able to understand how the succulent is doing. The succulent will give the signs about its well-being. If the succulent roots are healthy, obviously the succulent is going to look more healthy. Now over here, this is how a succulent tends to look like when you tend to get it in mail. Uh, the seller will always dry the succulent roots before sending it in the mail in the postage. Because if the roots are wet and if they're put in the box, definitely the succulent will get rotted. So every time whenever you purchase your succulents, the roots are going to be very dry like this. So these roots that you're seeing are very healthy. Now, obviously, a lot of times there is going to be a lot of dirt and soil on the roots. So you can clear that to check or to examine the roots properly. Now, here, as you can see, these are very healthy roots. They look very dried because of postage, the seller has dried the roots. Now, after this, you need to just add these roots into the soil and you have to wait. Now, again, guys, there is no time frame when the new roots will appear. It all depends upon the succulent and your environment and how soon the succulent tends to get adjusted to the new environment. The sooner the succulent gets adjusted to the new environment, the faster the succulent will start putting out roots. Remember, not only you want the succulent to put out roots, the succulent itself wants to grow. It will definitely put out roots. So the succulent wants to grow and now it needs your help. Now for that, you have to have the right kind of succulent soil mix. Now when I say the right kind of succulent soil mix, it means that the soil has to be loose, porous and well draining. Only then the succulent will be able to put out new roots. If you're going to have a very poor quality of soil or a very compact soil, definitely the succulent will not be able to put out new roots. In fact, the existing roots that are already present will also get suffocated and the succulent will start getting dehydrated. And most probably if the soil is not changed, the succulent might even die. So over here, it is your efforts as well as the succulent will also put in its efforts. Your efforts are to have a soil that is loose, porous and well draining. Once you have achieved that kind of a soil mix, then it is up to the succulent, which the succulent will definitely put out new roots and it will show you signs of new growth. Now, again, it is going to take some time. All depends upon your environment and climate and the type of succulent and how long it takes for it to get acclimated and adjusted in the new soil mix. So now over here, I have taken out my succulent to show you guys so that you don't pull out your succulent from the soil. Now, this succulent was purchased some time back. I added it into the soil. The roots were the same how I showed you earlier when it was purchased. And after I put the succulent inside the soil, you can see now there are a lot of new roots. I will also mark because it's going to be a little difficult to notice those roots because they are just starting off now. That is the reason why they are very small and white and very fragile, as you can see over here. So this is how the succulent will start putting out new roots once it's comfortable in your environment. Now, over here, I have another succulent. I have shown you this succulent earlier as well with a lot of pups. And over here as well, you can see this indicates that the succulent is doing quite well. One, because it's putting out a lot of pups. And secondly, you will be able to see a lot of new white roots. Even though the old roots look very dry, but you can see that the succulent is putting out a lot of new roots, which is a very good sign. And very soon, these roots will become even more thicker once they start growing up. So once the new roots appear, the succulent will start, uh, you know, absorbing water and it will start opening up. But let's say for whatever reason, the succulent roots are not developed, then definitely your succulent will start losing that water. It will start looking dehydrated and very soon it will get into its survival mode. So once it gets into its survival mode, it's always better to go ahead and check the roots 
or to check the soil if the soil is suffocating the roots. Now over here, I'm going to show you a next example. Now this was because of the rains. Remember, as I said, it was raining a lot. These were summer rains. Now because of this, uh, one of my succulent had this issue. Now over here, this is called as root rot. Now you can see the roots are turned darker in color. They're slightly soft, which indicates that the roots are getting rotted. And due to which you can also look at the overall appearance of the succulent. It definitely does not look very healthy. The reason is because the roots are completely rotted. And when the roots tend to get rotted, definitely they are not going to put out new roots. And that's exactly what's happening over here. Now, when you have a situation like this, the first and the most important thing you have to do is cut off the succulent, separate it from the rotting roots. Otherwise, that rot will spread onto the stem. From the stem, it will then spread to the crown area and you are going to lose the succulent. Now, over here, as you can see, I cut off the root part and you can see the rot had already spread onto the stem. From roots, it went to the stem due to which I had to cut the stem as well. And I was only left with a very small crown area, which I have used some cinnamon powder for it to heal further. Now, this part has to be kept in a dry place. It shouldn't come in contact with any moisture or water or else it will again start to rot. So this is how it happens. And you can see the stem is completely turned brown in color. The roots are completely gone. They have been completely rotted due to which the rot also spread onto the stem and the stem started to turn brown. So you have to be extremely careful. The earlier you notice a root rot, the much success you are going to have in saving the succulent. Now over here, as you can see, I noticed it. I separated the stem from the rotting part. And now I can just hope that the succulent survives. Now, another case of dehydration over here. Now, this is because I had done a stem cutting and the roots took some time for them to appear. But now, as you can see, the roots are present on the cutting. So very soon, the succulent will start to open up. I had done a stem cutting some time back, but it had not rooted and the succulent started to get dehydrated. Actually, it was dehydrated before cutting, but now you can see the roots are present. So here is another example. This is my uh, powder puff. I had done a stem cutting and I was waiting for the roots to appear and then I would have gone and watered it. And that's the reason why it has got into a survival mode. But the best part you can see over here, there are a lot of roots. Now you might be wondering why there are white roots and why there are pink roots or why there is a combination of two roots. Now the reason is because the succulent was not added into the soil earlier. I let it air root. Now, when it was getting air rooted, it was kept in light. So when roots tend to get a lot of light, they are going to turn dark pink in color. But as soon as I put it into the soil, when there was not much light that was reflecting on the roots, they started to turn white. So now pink and white roots both are healthy. You do not need to be worried. If you tend to see that the roots are pink in color, just put them inside the soil and that's going to be fine. So I will put these back into the soil again. Uh, I will wait for another day or so. I know they are still dehydrated, but I will still wait for another day and then I will do a complete watering. That is until the water starts passing through the drain hole because all of these cuttings have got roots now. Now, here is another example. Now, this when you tend to look at the succulent, it looks like uh, the stem is completely dry. Now, the reason behind this is because I have not potted this succulent. I completely forgot about this succulent and this succulent was outside the soil for a very long time. But the best part, what you can see is at the end of these uh, old roots, you can see there are a lot of new roots. The stem looks completely dried, but there are a lot of new roots, which indicates that the stem is still very healthy because it is putting out a lot of new roots. If the stem was damaged, it wouldn't have put out any new roots. Now, because the succulent was outside the soil, that is why you can see the roots are slightly pink in color. Very soon, I will add it into the soil and it's going to be fine. So this is another indication. Always check for the roots. Even if you feel that the stem is damaged, you check for the roots. If you tend to see there are new roots, it indicates that the stem is not yet damaged. It's still doing quite well. Now here, as you can see, the roots are extremely healthy. Uh, all I have to do is just put them into the soil and they are going to be fine. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.